Hola mis amigos, we're making low carb waffles. For this recipe, we are going to be using and reviewing this Belgian waffle maker from AI Cook. And some of its highlights are it has a stainless steel appearance on the outside. And as you can see here, it does rotate 180 degrees clockwise. And then we can rotate it back counterclockwise. And it also does include a drip tray for us in case we have any messes. And some of its features are, of course, even baking. And at the top here, we just have a nice simple control to go from light to dark. And of course, our surface is exactly what we want. We want a nonstick surface that is going to be nice and easy to clean for us. So basically, it's pretty straightforward. It's just a waffle maker. You add your batter and then basically the light is going to be green to tell us that it is ready to go. We lift it, add our batter. We're going to rotate it clockwise and then we are going to wait for this side's light to turn green. And once this side's light turns green, then we can flip it back and we should open it and have some nice waffles. And of course, we are going to spray this down with oil. So what I'm going to do is I am going to go ahead and wipe this down to get this ready for use. And then we are going to go and make our batter. For our waffle batter, I am going to be doubling up my low carb pancake recipe with a few minor adjustments. And I will have a link to that recipe in the description box as well as in the iCard for you to check that out. And if you remember that recipe, it was that super simple one where we just threw everything into the blender and then we had a nice batter. So again, we are doubling up that recipe with a few minor adjustments. And we're going to start off just like last time with our liquid and we are using one fourth of a cup of heavy cream. And to that we're going to add four ounces of cream cheese, four eggs. And again, remember we're just throwing this all in here, nothing special. And at this point, you would add your sweetener. And again, since we are doubling up this recipe, you can use whatever sweetener you enjoy. You would be using about one fourth of a cup of sweetener to start. Now, my tastes have changed a lot since being on low carb. So I actually do not use sweetener in this recipe anymore because I find that the syrup that I will be using to top the pancakes or the waffles is more than enough sweetness for me. I find that it's actually too sweet when I add sweetener into the mix. But I did used to use erythritol straight in here. But again, today I won't be doing that. You want to adjust that to your preference. So. Next, we're going to be adding in our vanilla extract. I'm not quite going to double that, but I will be adding the extra teaspoon. So that brings it up to three teaspoons of vanilla extract. Next, we're gonna go ahead and add in our flour. Now, I am going to do something a little different this time around. Now, if you remember, we did use almond flour last time for our pancakes, but now I'm going to use half almond flour and half pecan flour. I think that's gonna give us that extra delicious nutty flavor as well as a little bit more of a crunch. Now, of course, you don't have to do this. This is just me making a change here. If you don't have pecan flour, you can just go all the way through with the full almond flour just like we did before, and this is going to turn out just fine for you. So we're just gonna drop that in. And now we're going to add two teaspoons of baking powder. And one secret to convert a pancake batter into a waffle batter is to add oil. So I'm going to add 
two tablespoons of melted butter. And that is all there is to it for our waffle batter. So I'm going to go ahead and blend this up. I don't want to put your ears through hearing that, but I'll just get this nice and smooth and ready to go. And then we will be prepared to start making our waffles. See you then. Okay, we are back and ready to start making the waffles. Now you probably can't see because of the lighting, but both of these lights are on. The red light is always going to stay on because this is the power light, and this is the green light to tell you when it has reached temperature. But it's on right now because, as you can see, I have it basically on zero right now. So I'm going to go ahead and go to about medium. So I'm going to turn the dial to medium. Now the light just went off because obviously it's not ready. So we're on medium. So now I'm just going to wait for this light to turn back on and then we are going to add our batter right in and start cooking. So I will be back when this is ready. Okay, so we are back and the light is green indicating that we are ready to cook. And that took about two minutes and I did go ahead and spray it down with some oil. So now we are ready to go ahead and pour our batter right in. And we wanna make sure that we're properly filling each little section here. Okay. Ooh, I hope I'm not overfilling this, but trial and error, we are about to find out. And that is what that tray is for at the bottom. So I've got some batter in, and I'm going to just close it like so, and it says to immediately flip it. And now we are just going to wait, because as we can see, this light is now off. So we're gonna wait for that to turn on, and that will mean that we should have ready waffles. So I will see you soon. Okay, so I definitely did use a little bit too much batter because I did get some spillage here, but it does say that it is ready, so let's find out what we have. We're rotating back. A Little bit of a mess, but that's okay. And let's lift. Oh wow, that actually did come out. Now let's find out if we can get it out of here with no problem. Let me go ahead and turn this off so that we're not cooking this anymore. And let me get a spatula to see if we can lift this. All right, so here we go, moment of truth. Oh, this comes right up, look at that. Let me grab a plate and I'll be back. Look at that, we got it out without an issue and then we'll be able to easily wipe this down with a damp towel. But I am so far very impressed and I'm not gonna lie, I was a little concerned that this wasn't going to work out. But I am very pleased and I don't know if you can hear that. It is a little cakey but there is a little bit of a crisp to this. I think after letting this sit for a little bit, or I could have let it cook a little bit longer, but I was worried that it would get stuck. But I think after it sits a little bit, it is going to harden up just a little bit, but I'm very happy with that. And I'm also glad that I did decide to use the pecan flower in there as well, because it sort of lends that extra color and kind of reminds me of a whole wheat waffle. So I will be back while I finish the rest of my batter and then we will add some butter and syrup to this and enjoy. We are back and I got exactly three waffles out of that batter. So you do want to keep that in mind for however many you are trying to make. And I just want to show you the wiping it down process here. And I'm just using a paper towel. It's not even damp at the moment, but um, the waffle maker is still a little warm. I just took the last waffle out maybe two minutes ago. And as you can see, this is wiping down pretty easily. And again, this is not even a damp uh, paper towel. I am gonna go over this again with a damp one, but just to show you, this is all coming right up. It truly is a nonstick surface. And for my last waffle, I did 
go ahead and raise the temperature more and it came out a lot more crispy. Here we are here with the final result. And this is that last waffle, which is definitely more crispy. If we can get into focus, you will be able to see that. There we are. So this is definitely a nice waffle iron. There's our three waffles and I am very impressed with this. So I'm just going to top this with some maple syrup and then we will be good to go. I'd like to offer a special thanks to AI Cook for hooking us up with this awesome waffle maker. I am very impressed with how my waffles turned out and I can't wait to play with some other recipes and have a lot of fun with this machine. I will have all of the information in the description box below should you want to check this machine out. And again, 10 out of 10 would recommend. Low carb waffles, enjoy and I'll see you at the dinner table.